All right. Our next question says, I didn't see any of this coming at all. When those flowers were sent, I thought it was Chan since they were being all cute with the morning text messages. Were you shocked to see what was inside the flower box and who sent it? Absolutely. We were all shocked. We didn't expect that. But I mean, once we figured, once we found out it was Chris, it was like, oh, okay. Then we weren't as shocked. But, you know, we were expecting something cute for Chan too, because we are all living vicariously through Malia. Well, me anyway. But. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that it was very uh, disappointing. Um, yeah, I'll piggyback off the it being disappointing because she probably really had her hopes up and. and my boot on sent me something, only to get these demented looking. And <laughs> um, at the bottom of the flowers, too, like you know, her friend packaged it. Was like, ooh, and they were all just like, whoa. Uh, what's this at the bottom? <laughs> right. Um, you know, I, I laugh about it, but I was shocked and a little sad for it to be upsetting. Um, nobody likes being stalked, and when you know you're. Being by somebody crazy, you know, um, especially, you know, we talked about in a previous question where she's you know, pushing away those problems and then now those problems are coming to her and she, you know, she can't put away no more. She has to face this. So um, it's funny for us because we're not living it, but I can imagine <laughs> uh, having to go through the mess myself. I'd be on the phone like, yo. <laughs> This this month loss is mine. You know, sent me mice. I'd be sending y'all pictures. Like, can you believe this mess? And so, um, yeah, it's 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 not it's not supposed to be funny. Um, but it is a little funny. Um, but I can see how that's upsetting for for <laughs> Malia, my girl, poor baby. <laughs> And can you imagine, like, she hasn't been in a relationship in five years, and then now she finally has somebody, and, you know, like, all this in front of her girls, like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing, after what Mike did, and now this, this end is messy, <laughs> you know, devastating. That, that makes it worse. What are your thoughts? Um, I would, <laughs> luckily she said, I would have been so disappointed. I'm thinking that I'm getting some nice flowers from my little boo daddy. And I'm looking at the stuff and it's not from who I want it to be. That, I mean, it's the, the flowers just lose its value at that point. I don't want this. Take this back. Throw it in the trash. I don't want it, okay? I would have immediately threw them in the garbage, okay? I want no parts. Don't give it to me because I'm not going to take it, okay? I just... You really have to be out of your mind to constantly uh, beg for somebody's attention and do things to try to get them to notice you. You are nuts, okay, sir? And you need to go to jail. <laughs> oh, you need to go to jail. Yeah, that would have been it for me. That would have been the last straw. Like, no, somebody got to take care of him because now he's sending stuff. No, mm -mm, nope, can't do it. <laughs> and go be able to do. She said the flowers lose their value now. <laughs> that was too, too much. I get I mean, it. They do. Awful. It really does, though. Like those flowers really, they don't hit no more when you find that it came from some somebody demented who you want no parts of. It's like, then the flowers have to look real ugly, like they got cobwebs on them or something. Like, mm. you know, and then I'm going to get to wondering. Mm -hmm. What did he do to these? Like, did he put some type of chemical in these or some powder or something to make me uh, pass out? I don't know. I get to think, I get real paranoid at that point. Dang, that would have been a good twist to the story, Karina. <laughs> <laughs> Karina, you slipping, boo. You slipping, <laughs> boo. Because that would have been perfect. <laughs>
Okay. Um, number five. Chris's letter to Malia had a lot of audacity. And I wish you would written in it. This man is clearly experiencing some type of mental breakdown. I want to know more about his story. Will you be finding out more about Chris, Chris's life in this story? Um, I hope so. Um, we need to know every villain's origin story. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I would hope so. we read a little bit about, you know, his life and that's what in him becoming, you know, unglued and stuff. He's just, I don't know. He's something crazy. I do want to know more about his story, but, um, I also want him to be taken care of. He ain't got to die, but he needs to leave our girl alone. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't agree. He definitely needs to die. Just for the sake of a story. <laughs> um, if this was real life, yeah, get him some help. But we're in a city. Get that, get that dude up out of here. And Best way possible in the worst way possible chan him up out of here okay but um i think the best way we will know what the future uh of this story is with chris is our wonderful author karina q lay it on us baby Um, honestly, when we got to read the letter for ourselves, it was really scary to me. If somebody ever was saying something like that to me, I would have been like, he's going to get me. Like, I would be so terrified. Like there was something that he had said and it was in a sense like, or, you know, I love you or something like that. till death do us part. And I mean that. No, you don't. You don't mean that. Because he's the type of person you can tell he gets upset. He's going to kill himself and me. I don't need none of that in my life. And I'm sure that Malia wouldn't want none of that either. Like I said, when people get to saying cer like certain stuff to you, like, oh, I can't live without you, or um, I'll never be the same after us, that is scary. That will immediately give me a red flag. I don't need to be here, and you don't need to be bothering me. So that definitely had scared me. Um, maybe if we find out more about Chris, maybe it'll give us a little insight to why he thinks the way he is. But let's just be honest, he's a nut. Um, and there's no excuse for it, regardless of how he grew up or whatever he got going on now. Because there's plenty of people that grow up, you know, with crazy parents and they end up becoming nice people. They can actually live out in the world and not be like the people that they were raised from. Uh prime example would be Greta. <laughs> um, but I just yeah, I think that honestly, finding out about him, it might give us a little insight, but it wouldn't be worth it. He's still crazy at the end of the day. In some used to maneuver all of this. Uh, let me go back to the. Um, yeah, Chris's letter did have a lot of uh, audacity, and I wish you would. So that was, I like that a lot. Yeah, he really was going through something. He's clearly having a mental breakdown. Will we know more about his story? Yes, more about his story. because at some point, Chris has to be dealt with whether it is going to jail or that is, you know, he wound up like some, some check. -take. Something has to happen to him. And, you know, Chris is one of those, because he has those mental disorders and the way he Set up. They'd be like, he doesn't need to be in jail. <laughs> he needs to be in a position to do outpatient treatment. What happened? Is it? I don't know. What are you guys this for? I was saying he needs to be in hell. <laughs> On what? 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 Oh, I saw, I saw your hand doing this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, honestly, they need to put him under the jail at that point. 
Yeah, and I think that um, this is a, a big eye opener to this man's character uh, because for you to, can you guys hear me? Everybody hear me? Um, for you to take this serious emergency moment while these ladies are freaking out and you are feeling tingly in your pants about this this lady here, you know, it's like, whoa, you're a little bit unhinged and crazy too. You know, this is a serious moment, sir. You know, so I'm glad Eva did not meet him in another setting because you can clearly see how disgusting, unprofessional, and deranged this detective might be on his own uh, because he's even licking his lips and all that stuff and we got taxidermy mice that were sent here talking about a deranged man on the loose about to you know coming after this young woman and and this is exciting to you like you can you can get turned on in this moment um so yeah no i think it completely turned eva off uh she's completely disgusted by him as she should be um and i'm glad she saw him at him when she did so she can uh avoid him in the future Cool. I was like, I did, it ain't a long answer, but I just wanted to say, uh, Miss Eva was standing on business. It was not about no hookups, no none of that. I'm so, dude, let it be one, you know, one of y'all and some mess come like that. And a cop is like, oh yeah, so by the way, no, sir, that's what we're not doing. Um, we, we, I'm trying to get my people safe. Like what, what really? That's what, mm -mm. And so, um, yeah, Eva, I'm glad that she, you know, stuck up for Malia in that moment because you do have some people that would be like, well, you know, I did flirt with him a little bit. So he said he'll take your case now. He, he, he might take you a little seriously if I go out on it. No, sis, no. It almost feels like a betrayal at that point. Um, you and your little new boyfriend could go on somewhere. Hey, baby. And, um, yeah, it it wasn't about none of that. That was really inappropriate too for him to even try it under them circumstances. He's, this woman is obviously scared for her life and it's like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, you're good. But you, by the way, how you doing? It's it that's not good. So Eva, yeah, she she had to stand on business as far as do your job. I don't I don't I don't care about what you got going on. Do your job. Like Kyrie said, you got a little tingle in your pants over this. No, inappropriate. <laughs> um, under different circumstances, maybe. I, I I don't know if he was her type. Probably. But at this moment, no. No. She ain't even thinking about, well, maybe in another life. No. Or no. So um, that's all. I'm glad Eva stuck up for her in that moment and did what she was supposed to do as her as her friend okay um honestly i um i had some mixed feelings about eva to begin with um just because I see it a little bit differently how bad women, especially like, girl, you are the cutest thing out here and you are looking at every fine dude as if, ooh, he's it. Maybe I can see what I can do with that. Not every dude that you find attractive, you should just be eyeballing like, oh my God, let me see what I could do. You know what I mean? But I definitely respect how she went about it. Like looking at him in disgust, I would have looked at him in disgust too, sir. You can't do nothing with this. <laughs> you ain't going to be there. Okay. Um, that just, I mean, that's so unprofessional. Honestly, I, if I was Eva, I would have made myself a complaint to the police department. Um, y'all got some people over here on the sly and they not do what they need to do. He's over here concerned about what I could do for him instead of what this man is doing to my friend. And the fact that, like I said, they're constantly asking her questions as if, what did you do for this man to become so interested in you? I don't have to do anything. I'm getting coffee on my, you know, my every day. This is what I do. I shouldn't be getting bothered just trying to live my life over some coffee. I wouldn't have gone to the shop if I would have knew that all this was going to be happening. 
Um, so um, Eva definitely was down for her. Like I said, everybody needs a friend that will stick up like that for her. Um, and if you don't, baby, get you some new friends. And get you a new detective on the case. <laughs> well, I said, get you some new friends. Kyrie, you're going to have to do some editing on this thing because we be looking down trying to do this. We have never at all time, Bella, that we've done this. We've never had to do all of this. This is new for us. We usually have pretty service. You know, you know it goes in and out a little bit, but not. Then this is. This is next level foolishness, okay? Um. <laughs>